Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to the Heroic Strong series. And today what we're doing is a 35 minute strong legs. We are gonna work those legs, we're gonna strengthen them up. And because we're really focused on getting stronger, I would like you to try pushing your weight. So even if you can go just a little bit heavier and then decrease your weight as you go on, that's gonna help build that muscle up. It's gonna help fatigue it and really get some strength going. Of course, sir, I'm always wanting to make sure you can do a heavier weight with great form. That's only when you add that extra weight. But for me, I am really pushing that weight. So I've got a 45 and a 35 pound dumbbell, and then I have double dumbbells with my 25 and my 20. That's gonna be some of, for my lunges and the bigger ones for like a goblet squat where I'm only using one dumbbell. Now, one activity we're gonna do today is a wall sit. So we're gonna go against the wall and lean up and sit down. If you don't have that space, you can always just do a nice good sit hold. It's just a little bit better. If you can try to add that wall, it changes it up just a little bit the way you can sit. So if you grab that, make sure you grab your sweat tie, your drink, and of course your great attitude. Let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully a chance to grab some heavier dumbbells, some sweat towel drink, and your great attitude. If so, let's get warmed up. Let's start with just getting those squats going. Okay, we're not going deep yet. We're just kind of getting those muscles warmed up and thinking about moving and shaking today. Oh yeah, come on. We've got three more like this, two more. Last one, let's take that leg and pull all the way back to the butt. We're gonna start stretching out those quads. You know we're gonna use a lot of those with the squats. All the way as far back as you can get, really stretching out those quads. Here we go, three more on each side. Two more on each side. Last one, this time we're gonna squat down and then we're gonna press those knees back. Squat down, press those knees back. Okay, starting to glide those hamstrings. And now this time we're getting a little bit deeper in those squats. Oh, starting to open up those hips. We've got three more like this. Two more. Last one, stay low. And we're gonna rotate right here with our arm up and over. Okay, it's gonna unlock that thoracic spine when things don't move and they stay locked. Other things have to move too much. We risk injury. We wanna be nice and mobile. One more on each side. And then we're gonna place those hands right here on your knees and we're gonna do a nice good cat and cow right here, down and up. Moving that low back, moving that pelvis through the motion. We've got three more, two more. Last one, we're gonna push open those knees and we're gonna drive that elbow, I mean that shoulder, to either side of that knee. Oh yeah, open up and push. One more on each side. Come on up, take those arms. We're gonna swing down and we're gonna keep those knees straight. So we're gonna hinge at that hip and a nice good swing up and back down. Breathing through it, oh yeah. Gliding those hamstrings a little bit more. Moving and hinging through that hip. Hint, hint, we just might see that today. Three more, two more. Last one, take that front leg, keep that knee straight. Hinge down and drive it forward. Oh yeah, gliding that hamstring. Woo, feeling good for three, two. Last one, other side, here we go. Hinge down, drive it forward. Hinging down, driving forward for three, two. Last one, let's get some trunk rotation in there. We're gonna drive that knee, rotate that trunk. Oh yeah. We'll get that hip flexing in there, twisting at that trunk. Here we go, three more on each side, two more on each side. Last one, this time we're gonna switch. I'm gonna do a nice good straight kick and twist. Now you may not be able to touch your toe, but you got that direction. You're twisting, you're gliding that hamstring and moving that hip. One more on each side. Oh man, did that feel good? Okay, a big hip circle right here. And a big hip circle the other direction. Woo! Oh yeah. Balance is also part of it. <laughs> on the other side, big hip circle. Oh yeah. Big hip circle on the other direction. Okay, and then we're gonna go to the end of the mat. Well, I don't have a mat. We're gonna go walk it out. We're gonna go into quadruped. We're gonna take that leg out to the side and sit it down. And get some inner thigh movement. 
Ooh, yes. Three, two, last one. Hold low and you're gonna pop that toe up and down for three, two, last one. Other side, same thing. Put that leg right out to the side. Come down and up. Nice good hip mobility here for three, two, hold down low, pop that toe for three, two, last one. Okay, so in this position, you're gonna drive that heel towards the ceiling and really squeeze that glute, nice and controlled. Squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Now go out to the side and squeeze and squeeze for three, two, Last one, other side, drive that up towards the ceiling. Really squeeze that glute for me. It likes to get lazy for three, two. Last one, out to the side and squeeze, and squeeze, and squeeze for three, two. Last one, push into plank, push into downward dog. Pump those heels for me and then walk that baby up all the way up. And then let's talk about what we're gonna do today. Woo hoo. Okay, so we're gonna work for 45 seconds. 10 second break and we're gonna do two rounds. First activity, we're gonna take one dumbbell. We're gonna set it right here in the front of our chest and we're gonna do a nice good goblet squat right here, down and up. Drive those hips back, keep that trunk upright. Here's where I'm gonna use my big bad boy, at least to start with. <laughs> okay, let's get ourselves in position and here we go for three, two, one. So you're sitting down and up. So why is this so challenging? Well, when we put that weight in the front of our chest, Man, does that work our core to keep our chest upright. It wants to pull us forward. We have to get a nice, good, nice, good control. Down and up. And up all the way up. I want as low as you can go. Up all the way up. Open those hips as you come up. You got this. Come on. Stay steady. Stay focused. Woo. You got this, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. One more round, adjust the weight as you need to. Maybe you need to go up, because that wasn't hard enough. Otherwise, let's go. Here we go, three, two, one, down, and up. Nice and controlled. Okay, it doesn't have to be fast today. Okay, we're doing heavier weight so we can slow it down and control that motion. You got this, you're halfway there. Work a little bit more of that backside next. We're gonna do a nice good kettlebell, dumbbell swing. I don't have a kettlebell, we're gonna do a dumbbell swing. Oh yeah, here we go, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, drop that weight. We're gonna take that dumbbell. We're gonna put it right between our hands. We're gonna hinge down. Okay, nice neutral spine. And I'm gonna pull through those hips. I'm gonna use my glutes and my hamstrings. Nice neutral spine, drive it right up to that eye level. Now don't let it swing behind you. It stops right there between your knees. It's a drive and back. You got this, let's do this. Here we go in three. Two, one, swing. Okay, I'm using both arms, popping up to that eye level and down. Okay, I am using my shoulders to guide the weight, but it's coming from my hips that are popping it. Oh, oh yeah, come on, baby. Swing and swing. Pop that hip. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, one more set like that. Adjust the weight if you need to. Here we go in three, two, one, and drive. Nice and controlled, hinging at that hip. Come 
Come on, you got this. 15 more seconds. Oh, yeah. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay. Woo, baby. The next activity is going to be a forward lunge. We're going to step forward, drop down, push back. Notice when I stop my motion, I drop down, push off that front heel. We're doing two rounds on that right side first. So grab a weight that pushes you, that you can control. Here we go. Right side first in three, two, one, forward. Drop down, push back. Nice and controlled. My heart rate got up there with that last swing, right? Pushing those weights, moving and shaking. Control that baby. Down and up. Okay, we're working that side that's stepping forward. That right side, control it down and push it back. In five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Woo! Okay, one more, si one more time, ready? Right side in three, two, one. Really dropping down, pushing back off. Keep that nice, good, tall trunk, strong core. You're doing awesome. Even if you're just like, right now, all I can do is body weight. That's where you start, right? You have to start somewhere. I've been doing this a long time, so I've started increasing those weights. And it's really easy to kind of stick with the same weight because it's still challenging, but pushing a little bit more is so good for that body. Okay, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, guess what? We got that left side. Grab some water. We got that left side to do. baby. Okay. Are you ready to rock this? Okay, grab those weights. We got left side next in three, two, one step. Drop down, push it back. Nice and controlled. If this is really challenging for you and you're not yet used to lunges, step backing to do a step back lunge, a little more control. Okay, it's a little easier when you're starting out. Forward lunge, more challenging because you have to really control that stop and that drop and that push off. A lot more core. 15 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay, one more set like this. Here we go, three, two, one. Drop it down, push off. Okay, so this is working a lot of more focus on that quad, the front of that muscle, the front of that leg. Okay, we're gonna turn around and work a little bit more on that back side with some single leg deadlifts next. So you can kind of think about what weights you wanna do with that. Keep breathing. 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, so single leg deadlift. Okay, kind of like that swing. Okay, we're gonna hinge down through that nice neutral spine and pop back up. The key is gonna be the back leg can be either hovering or a toe touch. You're gonna keep that weight close to the body and pull up. You wanna keep your body even 
Hands down, drive forward with that one leg driving mostly. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Right side first in three, two, one. Hands down, drive forward. That other leg can pop up if you want. As long as that hip doesn't open up, you don't do any back twisting. You can do this with one dumbbell or two. Keeping that nice, good, solid hinge down. Drive through, feel that glute and that hamstring drive you back. Boom, oh yeah. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. One more set like that on that right side. Oh yeah. Here we go in three, two, one, and down, drive forward. And that way, close that body, okay? You don't want a long lever arm. You want a nice neutral spine. Hands down, drive it forward. Oh yeah. You wanna keep that neck nice and neutral when that neck gets jetted out there, okay, in front of your shoulders. It reduces your hamstring strength. Okay, so a nice neutral spine. Pop that open, down and up. Oh yeah, come on, you got this. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Shake that leg out. We've got the left side or whatever side is opposite. Oh yeah. Woo, baby. Are you feeling it? Are you working it? Are you challenging yourself? Let's grab those weights. We've got that left side to do. Roll those shoulders back. Here we go in three, two, one, hinge down. Okay, remember our hips are still facing forward. We're coming down and up. We're just working that left side a little bit more. And drive. Again, we're not looking at speed, right? We're looking at control. Moving through that motion and controlling it. Even if all you've got is water bottles. Okay, you start at two pounds. Perfectly awesome. Like I said, you've got to start somewhere. You're seeing me not in an advanced mode, right? I've been doing this long enough to add heavier weights. You gotta start somewhere. Keep going, you got this. Whew. It's got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we've got one more set like that. Here we go in three, two, one, down, and up. Nice and controlled. Moving down, driving forward. Okay, the key is not to be leaning way onto that left side. Okay, that toe is back there for toe touch or lifting to counterbalance you, but you should have about 80% or so on that 80 to 90% of that weight on that left side. But the key is that you're evening your hinge, right? <laughs> Here we go. Almost there in five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, drop that. We're going back to one dumbbell. We're gonna take that weight. It's gonna be nice and low. We're gonna hinge down. This is gonna be a little bit of a hinge and a little bit of a squat and drive up. So it's a little bit of a deadlift, a little bit of a squat. We're taking those heavier weight. Okay, so you're gonna be nice and controlled. Coming down and back up. Oh yeah. Got my big bad boy. Here we go in three, two, one. Down and up, hinge down. Okay, so I bend those knees, hinge through that hip. It's a little bit of a deadlift, a little bit of a squat. Nice and controlled. Really more what we're doing is a sumo deadlift. I know I called it a squat. 
I'm not keeping my chest as upright as I'm doing a little more of that hinge down, bending those knees, driving through those hips up. A little more of that deadlift. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I'm not sitting back and doing this. I'm hinging down a little bit, getting that deadlift so I can get those hamstrings a little bit more. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just clarifying. I know I said squat. I really meant deadlift. Down and up. Bend those knees. Hinge down. Drive those hips open. Okay, so after this, that's our wall sit. Now, a wall sit is challenging. So you can do that with or without weight. Okay? And we're just going to hold that sit position. I'll probably start the first round with weight. Probably drop it down for my second. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, come on, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, we're going to the wall. Okay, and so what you wanna do is you wanna find, you wanna get your back nice and stable against all the way, low back and everything. And then you wanna sit like you're gonna sit in a chair, so you're nice, as low as you can go. We're gonna hold that for that 45 seconds. Challenge, yes. Ready to accept it? Oh yeah, here we go. Find that position in three, two, one. So I'm gonna go down low, find that low position. Okay, and I want you to press that back against that mat, against that wall, <laughs> so I used to say mat. Okay, keep those chest upright. Everything's against that wall. Yes, do you feel the burn? Okay, it should be burning. <laughs> If you don't have a wall, you're doing just a squat hold. It's a little bit different, a little bit challenging. You can't quite go to go as low. You've got 15 more seconds of this set. I know. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and a rush. Shake that out. We got one more set. I know you can do this. I believe in you. I'm talking to myself too. Here we go in three, two, one. Find that position. Oh yeah. Okay, really get that back nice and stiff against the wall. A nice good hold. Oh my word. Challenge, my quads are on fire. <laughs> okay, come on. Stay steady, stay strong. If you have to come pop up, try, try, try not to. You got 20 more seconds. I'm gonna drop my weight. 15 more seconds. Hang in there. Keep breathing. Okay, here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Shake those legs out. Oh my word. I know. Okay, so what we're gonna do is a curtsy squat let, let, lunge next. Okay, so we're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna lift that leg back behind us and drop down. When we do that, we're keeping that knee above that ankle. Chest is nice and upright. Coming all the way up to pop that hip. Grab a weight you think you can do. You can do one or you can do two. Just challenge yourself. We got that right side first in three, two, one. That means you're stepping back with the left. Coming down all the way up. Oh my word, that quad is on fire. <laughs> Wall sits are killers. Sounds so simple. I'm just gonna sit there. Yes, without a chair. <laughs> Down and up, nice and controlled. And yes, you guessed it. We we're doing two rounds on this right side. Okay, this is how we get stronger, right? 15 more seconds. Slow, controlled. Five. Four, three, two, one, and a rest. One more set on that side. Shake that out. Here we go in three, two, one. Step back, down, and up. Nice and controlled. Press through that front heel. 
Okay, you're gonna come down. You're really getting that outer hip a lot with these. Some control. Fifteen more seconds. Then it's a water break, and then you guess it. We can't go uneven. We gotta do that left side. And we've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Grab some water. Woo. Okay, same idea on that left side. Okay, so when we do these single sides, pay attention. Is it a little more challenging on the one side versus the other? Why is that? Is it weaker? Is it less coordinated? Is it got less mobility? So you kind of focus on that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Come down and up. Sometimes it can feel like we're weaker. It's not always that we're weaker. Sometimes we're just less coordinated. We don't choose that side when we're doing activities or daily activities. It's not quite as mobile sometimes. Okay, it's not as coordinated. We don't work it with our brain as much. By like really working single-sided activity, we're really making sure we're focusing on both sides. That's a healthy body, nice and balanced. Ten more seconds. And we got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, one more set with these curtsy lunges. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Curtsy it down and back up. So when I would see injuries in the clinic, a lot of times, most of the times it comes from an imbalance that we have. Okay, so that's why we really focus on strong core, good form, and getting both sides to strengthen up. Okay, reducing that risk of injury. Going down and back up. We're gonna do some lateral lunges next. Okay, it'll be our last activities. Of course, we're gonna do one round on the right side, one full two set rounds on the second side, left side. Oh yeah, don't get too excited. We got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, lateral lunge. What you're looking for is when you step to the side, you're gonna push that hip back and then you're gonna drive through that heel to push through that glute. That glute and hamstrings work a lot in those lateral lunges, okay? You're also working that inner thigh and you're working that core and that trunk. You can put one dumbbell behind your back. You can hold it low. You can do two dumbbells. It's all up to you, but we're going to that right side first. Woo, baby, in three, two, one. Sit down, press off, all the way up, come down. Press up. Sometimes we do some static activities outside of the wall sit. Today we're doing all full range of motion activities, strengthening that full mobility. So as low as you can go and press off. Nice and controlled. Halfway there on this first set. Come on, you're almost there. We got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay. Woo, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one. Sit down, drive forward. Nice and controlled, okay? As we get fatigued, we can lose that form. You need to drop that weight. We're really paying attention to that form. Where are you at? Where's that weight? Is it sitting over that heel? Are you pushing through that heel? So get that glute and hamstrings activated. 20 more seconds on this side. And then what we'll do is we'll finish our regular activities with the left side to even our baby out. Come on, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one and rest. Woo, baby. Okay, we have one more activity. And then, of course, we have the closer, right? Woo, I'm sweating bullets. Working hard with you. 
Okay, I'm pushing my body just like you are with yours. Okay, that's how we get stronger. Safely pushing ourselves. It's really easy to get comfortable. Okay, comfort does not get us stronger. Here we go. Up and over or down low to the left in three, two, one. Sit down, drive it up. Comfort does not get any challenge. You have to challenge that system if you want to grow, right? That's pretty much in everything we do in life. The challenges are where we grow, okay? If we stay comfortable, we won't grow in our daily activities of um, mental health, spiritual well-being, right? We have to push ourselves. And then the same thing with our body, right? We gotta make sure we're really pushing that range in a safe way so we can get stronger. We got five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Okay, check that out. Last one before our heroic closer. Here we go in three, two, one, come down, push off. Nice and controlled. Pushing through that heel, keeping that core nice and strong through that entire motion. Oh, come on. You're doing amazing. Our heroic closer is going to be a deadlift and a close squat. So I'm going to use two dumbbells. So kind of thinking about a deadlift. And then we're going to do a squat with our feet a little bit closer together than normal. Okay, so here we go. We've got five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah, it's the closer. Woo, baby. Okay, so we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna hinge down, keeping it close to our body. Come back up. Then we're gonna have a close squat into a suitcase squat. So we're gonna sit down to our side and back up. Okay, that is the weight you wanna grab to do that activity. Let's get in position. We've got three, two, one. Hinge down, drive forward. Sit back in that low squat. Okay, the weights go to the side like you're gonna go on vacation. You're gonna pick up those suitcases and drive it up. It's a little harder. Look to the side, a little bit closer than our normal squat. And you're hinging down. So we're getting that backside. We're getting that posterior chain, those glutes and those hamstrings with a nice good deadlift. And then we're getting this quad more focus. So we sit back into those squats. Controlled. You got this, come on. Stay focused, 45 more seconds. Hinge down, nice neutral spine when you hinge. And then sit back over those heels, keep that chest upright. Come on, 30 seconds left. I'm doing the vacation. Okay, I'm picking up those suitcases. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where is it that I'm gonna go? Probably somewhere tropical since it's cold right now, right? <laughs> okay, you got 15 more seconds. Stay focused, you're almost to the end. We got that cool down, our favorite part, right? <laughs> I can't have, it can't be just my favorite part. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Drop those weights. Woo, baby, yes. Okay, so we're gonna drive that hip forward. Nice, get that calf stretched out. And then you're gonna drive that hip forward. Now let's just open up that chest just to get that hip flexor a little bit more. And then lean over just a little bit. Oh, that feels so good, yes. Woo. And then we're gonna hinge forward, keep that knee as straight as you can and hinge down and get that front hamstring. Can you drop your head? Oh, yes. Come back up. Grab that back foot, pull it back, stretch out that quad. Grab the wall or the couch if you need to for balance. Make sure those legs are parallel to each other. And then let's go to the other side. Drive that forward, open up that chest. Lean on over just a little bit. Oh, yeah. That hip flexor stretch feels so good. And then you're gonna straighten that front knee out, hands down. 
nice good hamstring stretch. I say, like, how many of these are my favorite? They just feel so good when we're done working out. Come on up, grab that foot, let's stretch out that quad. Okay, so this time, I'm gonna take that leg, we're gonna cross it over and sit down and open that up if you need to. You can even sit down on your couch and do this, or you can hold onto the wall, or you can work with me on the balance. Come back up, let's switch sides. Sit on down. Come back up, take that left leg behind that right, and then lean over that right side, stretching that lateral and that outside hip, that nice good IT band stretch, and then hinge down and drop that head. Oh yes. Okay, now we're gonna switch sides. Take that right leg behind that left, and you're gonna push that right hip out. So you lean over to that left side. Ooh, feel that, reel that outer hip stretch. And then you're gonna hinge down, and then you're gonna drop that head. Oh yeah. Now, as you stay there, undo your legs, grab your elbows, and hang like a rag doll. Let that low back stretch out, those hamstrings. And then here we go, we're gonna slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time to the top where we roll those shoulders back and then we give ourselves a high five for working on that. Way to go. Notice as you keep going, you're gonna grab heavier and heavier dumbbells because you're getting stronger and stronger. I'm so proud of you. Make sure you're drinking your water, flush out that system, okay? We broke up down that muscle. We need to flush out that system and then we need to grab some high quality protein to rebuild and recover and then have a great day. Hey guys, did you enjoy that video? I am so glad you are here and I'm so glad you're joining me for this Heroic Strong series. This is designed to help us with getting stronger. All of us need to get stronger to have a healthy body. And as we age, we need this even more. So we all wanna age well, we all need to get stronger. This is designed to help your body get there. I'm not meaning that we're gonna bulk out. I mean that we are gonna get stronger so that we can support this body as we age with our posture, with our joints, and also leaning down to be the body that we designed to be and to function at our optimal place. So join me, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss another workout. It's going to be 12 weeks of fun in this journey. We are going to do five days a week and really focus and target in on that strength. We're even gonna strengthen our cardio aspects because that's part of being healthy. So we're gonna grab those weights, we're gonna pump that heart, we're gonna burn calories and have joy in the process. So join me, make sure you always see what's coming up next. I've got calendars in the link below so that you can make sure you know what's happening and prepare for the week. And so let's get this strong and fit. Let's feel amazing this year and have a great day.